This is Decision 2015. My guest is Dr. The Honorable Linton Lewis. He will be contesting the East St. George seat. And this time, the third time, he'd be hoping that he would defeat, well, not the incumbent, but the incumbent party. Dr. Lewis, again, let's continue this program. You, yes. you, we, I don't want us to get stuck on this, this, this one issue, I but let's, let's, let's just, um, just, just a couple more things in it. Um, your, your reference to the speaker about um, him having to come to Caliqua, that has been interpreted as, as a threat. Mm. You're making a threat. It's almost like, okay, you know, um, you, you're protected in the house here, but come out to Caliqua and, and, and we'll see, we'll deal with you. No, uh, it, what did you mean? It's rather interesting to say I'm protected in the house here. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, what I meant, yeah. the speaker comes to Calico mm -hmm. ever so often and goes into a shop and boasts on who he threw out and who he didn't throw out and who he gave a hard time, okay. who he didn't give a hard time. And the people confront him. Right. And those issues, they confront him in Calico about his uh, attitude towards me. Right. He knows that. And he knows that when he comes to Calico, they'll also confront him on these issues. So in you're the, saying you're the not, same you, you were not threatening him in the sense that when you come to Calico, he, he asked me, um, what, what is very interesting? He asked me, say, are you threatening me? I said, yeah. no, I'm, I said, no, I'm not threatening you. Mm. But he didn't, he didn't remember this. So. But the fact is this, mm. is that how could you even, even though, how could you, how could you interpret that as a threat? Now, if you interpreted that as a threat, it meant that you were fearful. But he told me he was born in Calico. He went to Calico the, uh, the day after with a strange fellow went out to some boys and said, you all say I can't come to Caracol, now look, look me here in Caracol, right. what are you going to do? Okay. You see what the type of person he is? <laughs> well, so let's, that's let's, person Dr. Is. Lewis, let's, let's just... But I'm, I, I, I am, I'm, 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 I'm mildly amused by this, to yeah, be honest I, with you. Me too. Um, <laughs> the, the, the thing is, yes. in the context mm. of uh, the Vincentian mm. life mm. and growing up as boys and mm. so on, um, if I went to a village, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. um, or if somebody came um, in my village and mm -hmm. I threatened them, mm -hmm. okay, with, you know, take away their marbles, what have you, and mm -hmm. so on, did something, some injustice to them. Mm -hmm. And then said to me, well, look, you have to come to Bayabu, meaning that I have to come to their village. That would be interpreted as a but threat. No, that, 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 that's a very poor example. Right. Because he's from Calico. I'm from Calico. He's not right. going anywhere that he's not. No, it's not a poor example. Because no. Why? Because the interpretation of the average man was that you were saying to him, I, I believe what you're saying, you know, with, 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 the, with the shop that he goes to and so on. But the average man who's uh, just listening to that discourse would think, what does Lenten mean by he has to come to Calico? That's what the, what the average man told him in the streets. That's not what, what they have told me in the street. What did the average man tell you? But in the, the kids, how could that be a threat? Okay. If you say to somebody, if ordinarily I say to you, you have to come to Calico, man, how would he, why would you interpret that as a threat when he knows full well what he does when he comes to Calico? So, to put this to rest, what mm. you meant was that, by saying he had to come to Calico, was that you have to come out and come to that shop mm -hmm. and confront the guys there the who are going to take you to task about what you did and in the house. Knows that nothing physical, no physical no, he, violence, he know, but nothing. He, he knows that because in the right. first place, in the first place, I grew up in the area, lived there. Mm -hmm. No one could ever associate with any form of violence, never fought anyone, never had any confusion with anyone in the area where I lived and grew up. And you, and, and you lived in that area too. And, and so, I don't know so, you so as a violent person. That's the point, and he knows that too. Mm -hmm. So the, the fact is this, is that, um, is that he was trying to make something out of nothing, and then I understood he went to the police. Now that alone tells you mm -hmm. that the Speaker of the House does not even know the rules. Because the House Immunity and Privileges Rules mm. would clearly say to you on the Section 4 that is, you know, you, you can't bring a criminal charge against someone who does something in the House. Um, well, no, no, so no. Why, if he saw it, I, I don't agree with you here, if he saw it as a threat, if he thought that you were physically threatening him is in, in, in a way that if he came to Calico, he'd get a good Gordon? cut tail, as it were. Gordon. Um, if, he, if he felt that you were threatening him in that way. Then yeah. I suppose he went to the police. I, I'm not sure if this was, was the case, yes. but I'm sure he, he may have gone to the police. He said, look, I feel as if my safety and is so, threatened. And then went up to Calico the following day. Mm -hmm. If you feel, if you feel in threat, you'll feel a sense of fear. When you went up there boasting, telling the people, look, you're here now. 
Now, now the, is, the other well, issue is... he's calling me a bluff. But, but, but the issue is this. Don't call me a bluff. He goes there. The, issue, the other issue is this. Taking your point mm. to its natural conclusion, yes. then I should go to the police and report Senator Francis. Because Senator Francis what said in the same house that yes. I can come to Calico. I played a tape on the radio. He said, you can't come to Calico. You can't come to but Calico. But in what context uh, did he say it? But I, I'm not trying to find excuses for anybody. In what context did he say? Did, did, did I he said say in the that, House that, of that, Parliament, that, that, he yes. said, I can't come to Calico. Meaning no, that no, if you went to no, Calico, no, you'd no, get beaten? No, but was that what he meant? What he meant? What did he mean? That if you went to Calico, you'd get beaten? You would get, you, your, your life would be under threat? Is that what he meant? I don't know what he meant. I or, can, I can or, did, or, or did he mean you'd be ragged out no, of no, Calico? No, no, but I don't know what he meant. As a person No, that, I don't know what he meant. What, yes. is it, what is interesting to note mm -hmm. is that you're focusing on what he meant. You're not focusing on how I felt. You're focusing on how the speaker felt. I am saying to no, you, no, no, I, I am <laughs> saying to you, I am not prone yes. to being violent. Nobody has ever heard me being involved in anything that's violent. Yes. My name has never been associated with anything mm -hmm. that is violent. And so the speaker had no reason to feel that way. What I'm trying to tell you is that Julian Francis didn't say you have to come to Calico. He said you can't. You will be afraid to go to Calico. Those were his words. Now, so then why would I be afraid but to go to a place where I was born? <laughs> why is it I can't go there? What I'm saying to you, Tony, is that if you're going to take my word as a threat, yes. What would he say about Julian Francis? I am not taking me? your word as a threat, but let's not conflate. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, okay? no, 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 what I'm saying, they were said yes. at the same time, almost. He is, mm. I am speaking to the Speaker of the House, who is from Calico. Yes. I am from Calico. Mm. Okay? The Speaker understood what I, what I meant, and he just trying to be a politics. Mm. Julian Francis is not from Calico. And he's saying you can't come there. And he's telling me I would be afraid to go there. I can't come there. Why do you think, I, he, I, why do you think he's saying that? Why, why are you saying that? Yeah, tell me, honestly, why do you think he's saying that? But, but why do you think he said that? I got, I got the impression that he's trying to tell me that if I go there, something he'll do something to me or something like that. That's really what you thought? Yes. Or was he saying, I, I, was he saying that no, as, no, no. as a politician, I'm telling you what I could, could I just no, no, no. proffer something? I'm saying to you, yes. what, no, you are telling, it is, you are saying to me what mm. you will feel. No, but no, the no, question no, no, is this, no, 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 I am I telling you, mm. I am telling you how I felt. Yes. I am saying to you, if for example, if for example, someone is, um, is a very good fighter, mm -hmm. and you know that person is a very good fighter, and the person that you can't come out of the schoolyard here, at, at the end of the day, that's so completely different. What, what's different? <laughs> that's the context of what of what you presented. This is somebody who's you physically just, violent. You just presented something to me there with marbles. Yes. So I'm saying to you, if mm. you presented that with marbles, I expect me yes. to treat it with some sort of of relevance. Let's let's go to this because we want we want to get out. I can you, understand. You're saying I can understand. You are saying <laughs> you are saying I can understand. that you are saying mm -hmm. that you never meant it as a threat to the speaker. What you were simply saying to him was that when you come to Calico, yes, the people in the shop will confront you with your behavior in terms of mm. yeah. they will chastise you, yeah. they, will, they will verbally take yeah. you to task. Yeah. Nothing physical about it. No. Not, nothing I, I, that is, he was under threat his no, life. So that's no. how you meant it. And he went to Calico. Yes. But um, I'm giving you a chance. I, I know. I, I yeah. said, yeah, I explained that before. I yes. said, yes. Now, he went to Calico, subsequent to that, and indicated them, here I am now. And everybody ignored him. Everybody around really ignored him. They ignored him. They did not even say hello to him. He tried to wave to a few persons and did not even respond to him. So the, the fact is, what I'm trying to say to you, if I had done that to Hendrik Alexander, mm. when I went to Calico, I would have known from the time I did it that when I go to Calico, they would confront me in it. They will. If I meet someone in Calico and I say something to them that they don't like, that they don't think it's proper, it doesn't matter who the person is, how small or how big the person is, when I go to Calico, I will be confronted with it. So, and he knows that because he knows he goes to the shop in Calico. He always boasts about what he does in the house in Calico. People respond to him. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he feels he has this power. Some time ago I was having a conversation with some people. He came into the conversation and started introducing me and I never troubled him. Okay. So Speaker, so, Speaker so, Hendrik so, Alexander is yes. not here. So 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 let's not let's let me ask you a question. Back to the issue in the house. You felt that you were thrown out of the house um, 
and that was an infringement on your parliamentary right. It was proper yeah. procedure was not followed. That's a fact. Yes. Are you? I saw something in the newspaper. I haven't had a chance to read the newspaper, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, but I, I curse, had a cursory look. That you are considering taking action against the Speaker? That is what I said in the paper. But I, I, like I said, I had did, a cursory... Did you, did you read that? In the, which paper did you read that? I, I never you heard are, of that. You are trying to dot I's and cross these here. Let me ask you a direct question. Yes. Are you considering any sort of action against the Speaker for him throwing you out of the House? What do you say, any sort of action, what do you mean? Doing the speaker something? No, 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 no. Not that. What do you mean? Legal action? Legal action or challenging his, his, um, the act of him throwing you out of the house? Are you? If, if, yes. If, if I can, mm. if I can find um, any, any um, rule or practice mm. that can deal with that issue, yes. I will obviously raise it so you are considering it no, no i'm saying i would raise it so you are considering it no you i'm not saying i can consider it i say if i find i'm always researching things so you're looking oh. why no, are you no, looking if you're no, not I'm considering saying I'm it. always yes. researching things okay. because in the same way i research yes. to see if i can ascertain Doctor, any why any is sort it of conduct so difficult to answer a simple question no no no, right? no but but you are i'm answering you no, you're not. You said I'm considering. I'm, I must. I. I am not. Are you asking me if I'm considering yes. it? I'm saying to you that it is not something that is part of my contemplation, but it's something that I would have looked for in my research to try and ascertain whether you can do well, it. Because in in, in America, yes. with Newt Gingrich, when he broke the rule, he was fined yes. as a speaker of the house. Yes. So I am. I'm trying to ascertain if there's any sort of rule of practice that the speaker broke that that that, this, that well, i know he broke him yeah. i know he didn't follow but that you can get but some it's redress but sense or sanctions are right. concerned now uh, um, so you are considering it. it no i just told you so why it, are you looking why I are you never said why, i'm looking why are you researching i never said i'm researching it oh you're not no i never said so i said okay. that when i research what the speaker did in the house mm. to me so you are it, going to research to see, it? No, no, I said I when I research, when I research what <laughs> the speaker did to me. The, I'm, I'm hold on, sorry, hold on. Sorry, give a chance to answer, please. Please. When I research what the speaker did to me in the house to find if there's any example yes. of what he did in the way he did it. Yes. And I could not have found any in the practice of parliamentary procedure. I said if you research that, essentially, if you found that. Mm -hmm. Then, um, alongside that, you will also find if there's any sanction All imposed. Right. That's the point. So you're not considering it now. You were considering it. I, I just told you I was not considering it. Why do you keep pushing me on the issue? I said to you, when I research, I have been fair. Mm -hmm. I knew that he did not follow the practice and procedure. Right. But I still researched to try and find out if at any time yes. that practice was made proper and i could not have found any but i'm saying if there were any sanctions for practices that of that nature then i would have found it immediately there not that i was continually looking for it that's that's a different thing dr lewis what problems do you have with the petro Caribe agreement with the petro Caribe agreement mm -hmm. i <clears throat> it, it's it's a, it's a broad statement the, the the only the problem that I have, the major problem that I have, is that we have not seen, firstly, the executed <coughs> copy of the Petro Caribe Agreement. And what is the executed copy? A copy that mm. is signed by the government of St. Vincent. So this, this is, is this it? Let me have a look. Yes. It is signed by several governments there. Several governments. Yes, yeah, several representatives of government. Yes, yeah. what, what happens here is this. What you have here will be um, a framework of a multilateral agreement. So that's not an agreement, that's a framework. No, 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 a fault framework mm. of a multi or multilateral agreement mm -hmm. between Venezuela and a number of other countries. Right. But then there will be 
mm -hmm. um, arising out of this, what you call a bilateral agreement, yes. because certain countries may be given certain privileges, because understandably, those foreigners cannot sign on behalf of St. Vincent de Grenadines. No, no, they didn't. In fact, St. Vincent signed for themselves. Yeah. Yes, what I'm right. saying, yes, what yeah. I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. that is a multilateral arrangement. Right. So you're saying that, that there is, apart from this, there's a document that supersedes this, which deals specifically with St. Vincent there, alone? Yeah, there will, there will have to be documents. So, so, so what's the point of this agreement? No, what, but, no yeah. that, that, that is, as I said, that's a multilateral agreement. Mm -hmm. But within that arrangement, provisions will be made for countries um, who may not, or countries that may not uh, be at a certain mm -hmm. level whose requirements may be different, economic and otherwise. And therefore, there may be another agreement, which is called a bilateral agreement, between arising out of that, between St. Vincent and Venezuela, or between Dominica and Venezuela, giving effect to these um, um, so, provisions. So you're saying that this one you've seen, but you haven't seen I've just the one seen that you... This, this is copy the first time you've seen this. It's a signed copy, yes. Signed copy. This is the first time you've seen a signed, a signed copy. copy. This copy actually and, and in fact I think we're, we're at the end of this segment mm. so when we come back we'll, we'll, we'll mm. pick it up nicely yeah. after the break mm. when we come back yes you're watching Unrendered on IKTV my guest is Dr. the Honorable Linton Lewis more when we come back from the break mm -hmm. 